G'day guys, we are on our family holiday headed up the New England Highway to a place called Lake Keep It. Now Lake Keep It is our usual family haunt for Easter and it's been a rainy trip so far but the van is actually all tubbed up on the back and the car's filthy because I ran out of time to clean it but so be it, we make the most of it. Hopefully the weather turns it on for us but yeah, it's a beautiful spot and we want to take you there and show you it. We are here this morning at Lake Keep It. We arrived yesterday afternoon, as you've seen, it's pulling in. And yeah, I had enough time to set the van up, hitched, unhitched, and then the boys were screaming at me to get down the lake. So we got down there. But we're at site number 31 here, and I'll spin you around. And this is 31 here. Now 31's one of two only ensuite sites on the camping side. And this is your view in front of you. And then nothing but open paddock. Bit of a special one here. Now, on this side of the van park or the facilities that Lake Keep It, there's only about, I think, six powered sites that have a concrete slab on it. So if you were after a concrete slab, you'd probably call up and check before you came in. There's probably 40 caravan spots with power on the main side that has the ensuite, uh, sorry not ensuite, the shower block and everything over here. And then Lake Keep it's also got the free camp and bush area, which we'll show you later on today as well, which is it's, uh, if you wanted that more rural camping style, bit off grid. Um, at the moment being Easter long weekend, it's packed, but on any other weekend, it'd be a bit secluded and quiet. But yeah, this is us. This is our spot for the next couple of days and it's our bit of uh, peace and tranquil considering the chaos of Easter being that view behind us. So let's go down the lake. <laughs> I know Mr. Logan, you've been coming to Lake Keep It for so many years. What's your favourite thing to do at Lake Keep It? Mostly go swimming in our kayaks. In your kayaks? Mm -hmm. What else is the, what's your top things to do at Lake Keep It? Tell us your top things. Mostly go on the pontoon, go on our kayaks, especially that big thing over there. Yeah. When so, are you going on that? When are you going on that? Um, like, um, like right now. Oh, right now? Yeah. yeah. Right, when that little door opens over there, yeah. that's when we're going to go. Awesome. Awesome. Well, better get out on your kayak then. Yep.
Where'd he go? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Emotional damage! <laughs> How about that for a crack and arvo? Nothing but uh, feeding fish and catching seaweed, but it's a pretty good view to do it. Anything, mate? No. No. Continue the trend. It's a shiny, right? Well, we got up really early this morning at 5.30 a.m. for an Easter egg hunt. Thank you, Mr. Easter Bunny. But our kids didn't get the memo that you're meant to sleep in on Sundays. But it was very worth it for the view. And um, yeah, Easter Bunny was good to us. How about you, Ali? Did you get anything? Um, yeah, I got a yummy chocolate Easter egg. Mm. Of course, lactose free. <laughs> lactose, dairy free, gluten free. That's what and you the got. Easter Bunny came for you as well. Oh, very good. Can't forget the adults. Well, that's it. See us look. Oh, very good. <laughs> there you go. If you're lactose, dairy, gluten free uh -huh. weirdos like us, or at least Ali, I'm gluten free. <laughs> Makes it fun. This will last about, I give it an hour. I give it five minutes. Five minutes, you reckon? I give it five minutes. The coffee. Five minutes of the coffee. Mm. Well, I'm gonna give it a good wet hot go anyway. <laughs> After eating way too many Easter eggs on Easter morning, we head down the lake for a session of fishing, or at least an attempt at fishing. What do you reckon, hun? The calm yeah. before the storm? I reckon we're gonna catch a carp today. Yeah, this is all gonna be lined up with fishermen soon. Or trying to cap carts for the big carp bash. I don't know how we're going to go, but I reckon we'll at least do some feeding of carp. I don't know how yeah. we're going to catch a carp. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
It's all, all part of the, uh, the day in the life of a fisherman in this part of the world. Tom, pull yours in. Is yours got one too? Yes. Is he still on? Help! Help! Stop it. Get some help. <laughs> yours just come off, bud. Oh my god, it was really strong. Yours come off too. Oh my god, who just blinged at me? Hey! Oh my god. Righto, guys, I thought I'd talk about some of the amenities here for kids and big kids alike. So behind me is the Splash Park, which has been here for a few years now, since we first started coming here. And it's pretty good for kids under 10. Um, 10 may be a bit of a push, but ours still get in there. I'll switch it around. So it's great fun, especially in summer and out here in near Gumbar with the heat. It's good to cool off. And you know, the dam level's at 100% at the moment, but it's not always. So good to have something for the kids to cool off. I'll be guilty of saying that I've been in there on more than one occasion for a cool off. But um, the boys are over here, I'll show you where they're at. So, the boys are over here at this awesome climbing gym park. It's an old rocket ship. It's been here for I think a million years. I don't know if it landed here or what. but. That's fantastic. How old do you reckon this is, Leash? Oh, I know that there was some pictures from the 70s here. There you go. So, so it's, it's been here a while, the old rocket ship. It's been here a very long time. Yeah. yeah. The boys always give it a red hot go every time we come out. And then, look, over behind us again, there's the skate park and there's BMX track. Tennis courts and a volleyball court up on the hill. And they've got cafe. Oh yeah, the cafe's down the hill behind us there. The old cafe does a pretty mean burger. Old school burger how they should be. Yeah. <sighs> what do you reckon? Old yep. school burger, big burger. Yeah. That's the chips are pretty good. Yeah, pretty nice actually. And yeah. not too bad value. Also I think we had, what was it? Um, so I think for 55 about 55 dollars. bucks. It was four burgers, four burgers, and a thing of chips, and coke, and, and the cans, and four of coke. cans of coke, and they're all like the old school burgers, like yeah, they're big, they're massive, and they fill you up, yeah, uh, well worth the dollars. I don't mind paying for a hamburger when you actually get what you pay for, yeah, for sure, yeah, uh, and they're the really good. The kids didn't complain; that's half the butter. No. <laughs>